Welcome to this video tutorial for Microsoft Exam 7620 Windows Vista Configuring. In this video we'll be looking at a quick walkthrough of the steps needed to set up a VPN connection as a connection to a workplace under Windows Vista. You're glad to hear that this is quite a simple process, but it's one that's worth learning as it's the kind of activity you may encounter in a simulation in the 7620 exam. Okay, to get us going, let's click on the start menu and select an option over here, connect to. Let's open the connections dialog box uh, and you've got all the options to connect to various networks here. Uh, this will show you any uh, wireless connections, any VPN connections, any dial-up connections you may have set up on your PC. At the moment I've only got this one wireless connection which is the one I'm using to connect to the internet. Further down on this dialog box here you'll see two blue hyperlinks. Uh, set up a connection or network, note the network and sharing center. That's this top one we want so if we click on this that will bring up the various types of connections we can set up. Uh, now it's good practice in any of the exams, simulations. Uh, if you've got a scroll bar, have a look and see if there's any other options you might need in this. In this uh, case, one of the ones we do need is the connect to a workplace option, which was previously hidden at the bottom of there. Uh, you can see that it tells you connect to a workplace and underneath it gives you a brief description of what it's going to do. Set up a dial-up or VPN connection to your workplace. So this is the one we want. So we select this and then click next. So there's two options. We can either use my internet connection for a VPN connection or dial directly. This is if you're using a modem to connect to your workplace. It's a slightly older method of connecting but some places do still use it. So what we want is the top one here. Click on this comes up with another option box, this time asking for the internet address and a destination name. Now the internet address can either be a domain name or an IP address, such as something like this, uh, .32, uh, or alternatively it could be a domain name such as mycompany.com. Um, the destination name is just a friendly name, it's for your benefit, so you can have this set up whatever you like. Uh, we're going to call this My Company VPN Connection. Okay. Now I've got three options underneath this. User Smart Card. This is companies that use Smart Card authentication for their users as opposed to username and password. Um, if you're using this, you probably already know about this. Um, most companies won't be. Uh, the next one is Allow Other People to Use This Connection. Uh, you'll notice it's got the little shield symbol next to it. This means it's going to produce a UAC prompt. Uh, this is because it's changing uh, a globally uh, identifying part of the operating system here. Um, this will allow you to set up this one connection and then everybody else that uses this computer uh, can have access to that. Uh, the final option is don't connect just now. Uh, set up the connection so I can connect later. Uh, this is so if you haven't got access to the resource you want to connect to, or if you're um, just setting them up and want to connect later for this, you can tick that box. As it is, I think both of those settings are fine, so we just click Next. And this brings up the dialog box to enter the username and password. Uh, these will be provided by your system administrator. In this case, we'll just use test user and password as our password. Okay, you've got the option here, show characters, so you can see what you type. You've got a particularly complex password. And you've got remember this password. Now, if you're setting this up so that all users on that computer can use it, uh, remember this will save a password for them as well. Uh, so this can potentially be a security issue. Uh, you also want to be careful of this if you've got company policies that say you're not allowed to save your password. So bear that in mind. Uh, finally, you've got the option of a domain here. Uh, if you have a network with multiple domains, you can set this up so that you connect to one of them specifically. Otherwise, it will just connect to the first one it finds. Um, so we'll leave that blank for now. And then we've got the connect button. So if we click this, that will then test the connection. It will run through. Now, it's not going to find anything this time because that's not a real uh, VPN connection as far as I'm aware. Uh, but we'll just get rid of this dialog box. But that's basically all there is to it. Um, I'll just show you now, back in the start menu, and connect to. And there's the VPN connection we've just set up. That really is all there is to it. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.